All right, we are back for another video on the Knowing channel. Now, before we get into it, I want to say that this channel will become something big. Okay, it'll be, it will be something. The Knowing is something. Okay, that's so vague. Like, what is the Knowing and what is this something? But it will. Okay, I'm just going to tell you that. So we're going to break down this clip from David Bowie. Okay, I posted this on the Knowing Instagram page okay um and this is just insanity dude i it's just so accurate it's from 1997 we're gonna watch it together it's a three minute video right and then i'm gonna decode everything i said in this um right up here um and just to preface this video you're gonna want to watch this one first so put in the 22 minutes get some freaking popcorn okay with a lot of butter to just absolutely murder your heart and stuff inside of you, your organs. Put a bunch of butter, put some salt on that shit, and grab a Coca-Cola and watch this video. Um, about how you're immortal. Cause, so you can actually do that as much as you want. And you just it'll just slow your progress down, but you, you have infinity on this earth to do the process. You're going to keep coming back until you do it right. So you can just be a freaking nihilist down here if you wanted to. You're just not going to make any progress. There you go. Ignorance is bliss after awareness. That is a quote by Mason Versluis right there. Okay, so watch this video as a prerequisite, okay? This is my most important video I've ever made on planet Earth to this date. Okay, I believe this is my best video. I always shout this video out. Um, dude. Like, seriously, it is it is killer. Um, I just had a very crazy um, reaction to that video inside of Discord right here. Um, this guy, Dean Weatherly, says, My dad said parts of, parts of ideas he was connecting made him cry. Uh, we just got off the phone discussing all the deeper meanings of things in the world, and the whole thing just felt like I was meant to watch that and send it to him. He's talking about that video. He felt like he was always known... He felt like he has always known or kind of thought those things, but never articulate them, articulated them how you did. So definitely watch this. This is making grown men cry out here. This video makes me get shivers. All right, let's get into the actual content. So let's start watching this. And I haven't watched this in a while. I didn't even watch this. I just remembered this post um, and that I said I was going to maybe make a full video on this topic. You can consider this an extension or a part two of this. I might title it, We Are Immortal Part Two. Here we go. David Bowie, 1997 from a random interview. I've probably watched 70% of all David Bowie interviews um, on Earth. So here we go. There was a wonderful story I read somewhere about um, you going to Kyoto and, and someone telling you that something about organized religion is of the past and that... So he, she's saying, I heard a story about you, David. You went to Kyoto, and somebody told you that organized religion is the past. Is the past. Is yeah. going to come through people like you? Mm. Well, I know. The past, and this, this yeah. Is going to come through people like you? Yeah. Is going to come through people like you? And it's going to come through people like you, the new ones. And look at his reaction to that. Mm. Well, I'm not sure that he quite meant people like me, but mm. I think he felt. So just being humble. Yes, it was uh, it was a Zen uh, a Zen teacher at a temple that I I like a lot in in Kyoto, and uh, he's not he's not often there. I I usually see the the, the sort of the uh, a lot of the other uh, masters who are there. But uh, we had we were fortunate enough to have lunch with them last time we were there, and it was most peculiar. Out of nowhere, he suddenly said, "Religion is over." And it lies in the arts that the information in spiritual life will be in the vessel of the visual and the musical art, which I thought was quite a stunning comment from this 70 year old Zen master. He was having lunch with the Zen master in Kyoto and the Zen master said out of nowhere, religion is over and it, the new religion and the new way is through the, the vessel of the, the visual arts and the musical arts. Keep watching this. Uh, I'm not sure that I ha have his optimism. <laughs> well, I actually think that 
actually sort of do. I sort of I do too. So I agree with the interviewer. He says he doesn't have that optimism. I do. Yeah, I actually sort of do. I sort of feel that way. I, I think less and less people, at least in my life, are involved in organized religion. Oh, I no, I agree with that. I agree with you there, absolutely. I think people are letting go of the idea of organized. I think. I can't remember who the philosopher was, but uh, in the early part of the century, um, it, it, he said that we have to kill God to reinvent him. Yeah. And I think that is very much playing itself out in the later part of this century. Um, I think we have to... We have to kill God to reinvent him. Okay? Find the focus of, of where our religious strength lies in an entirely different area from the, the archaic and almost medieval forms that we're sort of expected to supplant ourselves to. Yeah. I think the beauty of it may lie in that it comes from within each the powers, within each everyone, rather than in the old structure, it was like the power lies in the <coughs> or the rabbi, or the, the power of being really empowering everyone. I think popular culture can help that. Yeah, I agree there, but I think we're finding the materials of a new religion, but I think we have to find and develop a new kind of discipline. I think there is no real sense of purpose without a shaping of fragments. I think we have the fragments and the pieces of a new way. A new the fragments and the pieces of a new religion. A, a, a new way. But I think we have to construct a path out of those pieces. I think we have the bits of concrete and it's merely crazy paving at the moment. But it will, it, we have to develop a form. Presumably that's what we'll be doing in our new millennium, is developing the form. In our new millennium. This was 1997, so this has been known, bro. So what he's saying in the new millennium, in 2000, year 2000, when I was born, and beyond, right? we will be creating, uh, we will be taking the fragments of this new religion and putting it together into an actual road and path. We have the material. Um, I think we're getting the wrap signal. Just one last question. Um... So you guys could see the full title of that interview if you want to watch it, it's right there. Actually, that's like the only clip, or that's like the full clip, basically. But dude, do you hear what this guy is saying? It lies in the arts... The musical arts and the visual arts is the new vessel. And the reason for this is because the camera has caught up to the eyeball. So this means that they're the same. Like everything you do now, it lives forever and ever. It lives forever, right? So let's talk about this caption right here that I wrote down. Um, and now you can totally see how this is a prerequisite video to that. So just like I said, just like I've been telling you, the new gods are these artists, these, him. It's so hard to wrap your head around. And that's why there's a massive disclaimer right now to turn the video off if you're still stuck, you know, on this whole, like, if you're just stuck in the God thing, okay? Because just go explore a Justin Bieber fan page, please. Like, just go do that. Just go on Instagram and type in Justin Bieber fan pages. And just look at how these people dedicate their, like, like 10 hours. Like, it's a full-time job. They post pictures of Justin Bieber. So, what is going on here? We have a human being that's being basically worshipped by a lot of little girls and, and whoever. Moms love him. Everybody loves him. And he has more followers... Like, there's more people that know about him than someone like Jesus in his time. In Jesus' time when he was roaming the land. There's more people that know about Justin than Jesus right now. And they worship him. Now, what are they worshiping him for? Not the great teachings of Justin Bieber. That's stupid, right? He makes music. He makes pop music. So somebody could get offended at that comparison, but drop all you have to drop all your programming and just look at that as truth not right or wrong just truth right so that's what's going on but jesus was worshiped for his amazing teachings right of course his amazing teachings and his um he was a miracle performer he's the son of man right or the son of god the new gods are these artists this is why they continuously deify musical artists 
For example, this is why we see Beyonce wearing an outfit dressed up exactly like the goddess Oshun in her uh, album Lemonade. Okay? I've got a picture of that right here. Here's Beyonce dressed up as the goddess, right? The African goddess Oshun. She's right here. Oshun energy. This is Oshun. So does no, does nobody question like why she can just wear this? Like why she can just like like or or not why she can. She can wear anybody can wear whatever they want. But anybody question like what she's doing right here? Well, she's deifying herself. Okay? Um and literally she knows she knows she's doing this. It's not like some designer or it's not like she just picked out a random outfit. No, she knows what she's doing right here. Look at this what she says. What, like this is in her song um Mood Forever. Mood Forever, which I love. I love Beyonce. I'm a super fan of Beyonce for sure. Um and there's so much to decode about Beyonce. Look what she says. Okay? I'm so unbothered. Like this is just boss bitch shit. And she's not a bitch. I'm just saying boss bitch as a figure of speech. I'm so unbothered. Actually the new term is boss girl, I forgot. Boss girl stuff. I'm so unbothered. I'm so unbothered. Y'all be so pressed while I'm raising daughters, sons of empires. Y'all make me chuckle. Stay in your struggle. Crystal blue water, pina colada in, you stay, blah, 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 flexing. My baby father, bloodline, Rwanda. Why? W Here's the part that I want to focus on. Why would you try me? Why would you bother? I am Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter. I am the Nala, sister of Naruba, Oshun. Queen Sheba, I am the mother, Ankh on my gold chain. This is an Ankh right here, if you don't know. Um, and I got a nice nice one right here as well. Got the Ankh. I love Egyptian symbolism. I am the Nala, sister of Noruba, Oshun, Queen Sheba. I am the mother, Ankh on my gold chain, ice on my whole chain, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So she knows what she's doing right here. So she's deifying herself. So notice how this picture right here is as good as your eyeball. It's as good as your eyeball, this picture. These pictures are as good as your eyeball. Okay? So when... <laughs> like, So imagine this Oshun goddess actually existed, right? Like the real African Oshun goddess. What if that, like, this being actually existed as a being on Earth? There's no photos of it. There's no photos of it, of th that being. Because there was not a camera. I can't even describe to you how much the iPhone is the key and the cameras and equipping everybody's hand with the camera. I always say this. I'm going to drill it in because this is the message, bro. When you pull out this phone, you are now a walking calculator, a walking camera, a 4K video camera. You are a walking internet. You're a walking you can you're a walking bank account. You're a walking notepad. You're a walking flashlight. You have everything right here. Okay, so right? So now the photos, if anybody ever looks back on this time. So imagine so imagine like the Egyptians, right? So let's go to the Egyptians. Like this is potentially people think, let's look at the pyramids. People think that this, there are civilizations that have risen so advanced and then they fall. Like the, the whole civilization just crumbles, right? And then they're left behind in ruins because they like, they killed themselves. They killed their civilization off, right? So what if that's what we are heading for? But what we left, but what we leave behind is now visual and art, like video. Because look at this, the hieroglyphics, right? This is what they left behind for us to decode. Clearly, like what is all this stuff? There ain't no person, no average person knows how to decode any of this, okay? This is what they left behind. They left behind these structures and taught us, like, buildings, right? 
when our civilization rises so advanced and crumbles, photos and videos like this will be left behind and they will think that this was Oshun. <laughs> they will think that this, if we kill our whole civilization off, right? And somehow like the cloud storage and all of that is, is still available for the next civilization that rises. But it looks so advanced that they're like, what the hell? Like, what is this? We can visually see it, but like, how is it there? Like, is she stuck in time or something? How am I looking at a frozen photo of a being at one point in time? How is that even possible? Right? They will be like, damn, this is Oshun. Right? They, they will be like that. If, if there's just a vault of photos left behind, like, who was this? So she's deifying herself. Let's get back on course with this. Clearly deifying herself. Now we have a song from one of my favorite artists as well, XXX Tentacion, R.I.P. Um, and we're going to cover these lyrics right here. Okay, the boy with the black eyes. Okay, right here. This is um, one of his songs. And, you know, you won't like this song if you listen to it. It's pretty, like, you know, it's pretty out there. But there's just these these lyrics at the start that I like right here, okay? He says, the evolution is near. The brains will start to abandon their religions and believe in themselves. And then the new world order will start. Okay, let's let's actually try to hear him say this as well on the... Let me see. In their religions. Right here. Brains will start to abandon their religions and believe in themselves. And the new world order will start. So what he's saying here is the evolution is near, right? We know this. It's a revolution, evolution. The brains will start to abandon, abandon their religions. Now, this is just happening, dude. I see this everywhere. People are abandoning it's already been abandoned, bro. Like, there are people who haven't read, like, most. Now, now I'm not religious at all, you know? Well, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to offend anybody here, okay? Uh, but, dude, I can guarantee that you have not read every word of your own holy book. You have not read every word of that Bible. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. And I also guarantee that you read every word of that Harry Potter book, didn't you? <laughs> you read every uh, every word of that Harry Potter book or some other book like that. So most of these people are practicing a religion. They haven't even read the whole book. They don't even understand the whole book. It would take you years. It would take you years of studying to even... You know, how can you be practicing a religion when you don't even understand the book or read the book at all? So already the religion thing is kind of crumbling and going into a more where everybody's spiritual. They believe they like, there's a hole, like they're, they're like yearning for a new system and that's coming. Right. And the new system is believing in yourself, yourself. You are God. God is within you. Christ consciousness. Christ is within you. It's in you already. So just wake it up. And then the world and the new world order will start. So we're right there right now. Okay. The brains are beginning to abandon their religion as talked about in 1997 by Bowie in this clip, which was told to him by a 70 year old Zen master. So this has been known for a very long time and it's way overdue at the end. When Bowie says that we have the concrete path laid out for the new religions, he's very correct. He says in the new millennia year 2000, uh, we will be trying to form these new religions. I can tell you right now that they will once again be based around the money. The religion is always centered around the money. So what's happening now is the money is changing, and therefore this will mark the beginning of the religions changing. People such as Bowie, Prince, Michael Jackson understand, or maybe they don't, this concept and are way ahead of the curve. So when I say that they understand, I obviously don't know if Michael Jackson understands what I'm saying here and that and what he just did. 
with his life. I, can't, I don't know him personally. I haven't asked him. I, there's no interview clips of him explaining that. But with Bowie, he seems to understand it or been in contact with people that have been telling him exactly what's up, right? But yet he still remains humble in saying at the start that, yeah, I don't think it's like people like me, but yes, it is, buddy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because you even deified yourself in multiple ways. Ziggy Stardust, all those different characters that he was playing, right? So I can guess that he understood it. I can guess that Prince understood it. And Michael probably did too. But these are not the only ones. Everything is... Every People are doing this. Like, Aaliyah... They, they deified Aaliyah here. Um, I forget what, what it was after, though. But they did that to her. They do it to every everything. And maybe they just do... Maybe the artist does it themselves. Um... They then make an amazing career on earth and actually deify themselves to be regarded as deities. And they will be regarded as deities. And I just explained that with Beyonce. Um, and he, this is the most important part. You must not look at this as good or evil. It is not good and it is not evil. It is simply what the F is happening. It's just happening. It happened before, dude. Michelangelo... Right? These type of people, these type of people are walking among us right now. There's new ones. There's a Nikola Tesla, right, building the biggest company on earth. There's a Nikola Tesla doing it right now. He's right here. These people will be regarded as absolute deities building crazy things. Okay? Not everybody can do this and not everybody's here to do it. You're just here to learn it, and then maybe in your next life you come back and do it. If you're not going to do it this life, one of these times you're going to do it, right? Um, and that's not, like, you could argue that this is not the goal of life at all. The goal of life, is there is no goal, it's just experience, right? It's just experience, but if you want to be immortal, this is how you do it, and this is how you live forever. And everybody's living forever anyway, so... That's the thing. It gets really blurred lines here because it's so... This is such a fresh... Well, it's old, this concept, but I'm giving a fresh take on it and using fresh examples. You either accept it and start winning at this game called life and getting yourself into higher frequencies, or you continuously deny it and keep denying yourself of your own power for eternity. Okay? So just to be very clear, dude, this is not... You don't have to come to Earth and do this. You're just here to observe people. these I, I less and, less and plot your your mission. Like until you step onto this hero's journey, dude. You, nothing. No, there's no progress, and you don't have to make progress if you don't want to. That's the thing. If you're on my channel, you see that I'm all about trying to make progress here, right? Trying to. There is no such thing as progress either. It's just change and transformation. I'm all about transformation. Um, so that is uh, that is this video. It's an extended version or part two of this, okay? Now, what you don't have to be seen by millions of people either. All you've got to do is make sure that your stuff exists and it's great. That's it. Exists. Because I could tell you, when you die, you're just going to exist in... Like, Bowie is sitting right there. Like, this, this, that's Bowie right there. He's talking. He's moving around. I can see him. That's him. He's not dead. He's right there. He's stuck in, in cyberspace right there in front of me. You're watching me in cyberspace. And if you're watching me a thousand years later, what's up? <laughs> right? Like, they're going to find a way to permanently store this. And then you're immortalized. But you need to think about who's going to own the cloud. Who owns this this data? That's the key thing. And those are the new controllers of the new world. So there's Bowie right standing right there. Right? So anything you put online right now is online. It's like on the new line. It's uh, in the new net. We're in the planet. Now we've got the internet intergalactic internet okay it's a new net 
Um, and Bowie has plenty of different interviews saying that uh, the internet is something absolutely bigger than we could ever imagine. And it is, dude. It is. Um, so once again, you don't like, don't take offense to any of this. I'm simply just presenting facts. Like none of this is really my opinion. Like point it out in the comments if I've said an opinion here, because I don't think this is just happening. Like I just see it happening. So there you go. Okay. Go watch this video again. I hope that I can produce some more content for this channel. Uh, but it cannot be forced. I always say that it cannot be forced. Leave in, if you've made it this far, leave a request in the description or in the comments. Do you want to see me decode anything? Because I will. All right. Goodbye. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter up there. And goodbye, folks.